Okay, let's do practice exercise 2. Question 31. When a two date number is divided by the sum of its digits, the quotient is 4. If the dates are reversed, the new number is 6 less than twice the original. Which is the number? Now, typically the conventional method will be to assume a number in the form of AB. To, they will, we will assume the let the number be 10 A plus B. When a two date number is divided by sum of its digits, divided by a plus b, we will say this is the quotient is equal to 4 or the quotient is equal to 4. If the dates are reversed, dates are reversed that is 10b plus a, the new number is 6 less than twice the original. This number is 6 less than twice the original. Twice the original is 2 into 10a plus b minus 10b plus a should be equal to 6. The new number is 6 less than twice the original. Okay. And then we have two equations which start following them. But when you have choices, you are going to just take the choices. My first thing will be the number divided by the sum of digits. Does it give me a quotient of 4? 12 divided by sum of digits is 3. Quotient will be equal to 4. Yes. 21 divided by 3. Quotient is 7. Choice B is incorrect. 42 divided by 6. 4 plus 2 6. Gives me 7, C is incorrect. 24 divided by 4 plus 2, 6, quotient is equal to 4, can be the answer. 7 plus 2, 9. 27 divided by 9, quotient 3, incorrect. So my answer can either be choice A or D. Let's look at the second condition now. If the digits are reversed, if the dates are reversed, this becomes 21, this becomes 42. The new number is 6 less than twice the original. Double of 12 is 24. The gap is 3. While we need the gap to be 6. Incorrect. 24 into 2. 48. The new number is 6 less than twice the original. 48 minus 42 is 6. Correct answer. Choice D. So when the choices are there. Don't go for this kind of stupidity. Straight away start checking the choices. And you will be able to come to the answer faster. Also this is easier. And less prone to errors. Thank you.